Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope everything is well. So today I'm gonna show you this gold glam makeup tutorial. So let's go ahead and start this very dramatic cut crease. So the first step is to apply a very good eyeshadow base. I'm gonna start off using a concealer all over the eyelid with a small brush like this. And then I'm gonna spread it out just to stick the shadows in the place. But of course, you can use a eyeshadow base for oily eyelids or even a sticky eyeshadow base. If you like to use glitter, for example, I really recommend to use a sticky one. So now I'm gonna use, with a pencil brush, a light brown eyeshadow. This is a more neutral brown. And I'm gonna apply in the crease to help me to create the transition for the next eyeshadows that I'm gonna use. So this eyeshadow I'm gonna use in the crease, in the outer corners, as you guys can see, and also in the lower lash line. When I finish to blend the light brown eyeshadow, I'm gonna use a more deeper shade and also a more warm shade. So I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna apply a warm brown eyeshadow, a little bit darker than the first one, and I'm gonna apply just on top but not covering completely the first shade because I want to create some depth but at the same time I don't want to cover the whole crease because I need the space to create the um, the next transition that I'm gonna use in the shimmery eyeshadows in the eyelid and next when I finish to blend this eyeshadow I'm gonna change the brush again and I'm gonna use a even deeper brown eyeshadow and I'm gonna apply in the crease and also in the outer corners and lower lash line so in the first transition I'm gonna create more depth and dimension as you guys can see I use a even darker brown eyeshadow to create more depth so I'm gonna apply this eyeshadow in the outer corners to the middle of the eye and carefully blending till it diffuse completely the eyeshadows in the eyes. So next to clean up the eyelid, I'm gonna use a firm concealer brush. I'm gonna take the same concealer and I'm gonna just clean up the edge, creating a harsh line because now I'm gonna work with the shimmery eyeshadows. So I decided to clean up like this. When you are blending the eyeshadows in the crease, so you don't have to worry about um, the shape because you're gonna clean up later. Also, you can use a shimmery eyeshadow base. It helps to create a glam look. But for the eyeshadows that I'm gonna use, I like to do with a matte one. Next, starting off with the eyeshadows in the eyelid, I'm gonna set the inner corners with a matte white eyeshadow because I wanna create a contrast for this look. So I decided to apply this matte eyeshadow first just in the inner corners to create some spotlight in this look and next i'm gonna use the shimmery eyeshadows i'm gonna change the brush for a firm concealer brush as well and i'm gonna apply a gold eyeshadow beside of the white eyeshadow that i supply and with the concealer it helps me to stick this eyeshadow and make it even more shimmery and by the side of the gold eyeshadow using the same brush I'm gonna apply a copper shade this color is stunning guys and I really love the combination that we create here for this look you can use a glitter on top but I decided to use it like this and now I'm gonna change the brush again for a more firm brush and I'm gonna apply a shimmery kind of pure shade right on top of the first white matte eyeshadow that I applied just to give me a little more um, touch of glam in the white in the highlighting spot for this look. Next I'm gonna go back with the smaller brush that I was using to apply the eyeshadow in the crease and I'm gonna apply the same shades in the lower lash line just to complete the look. So first I apply the darker one and next I'm gonna use the first light brown eyeshadow that I applied just to diffuse the color. Next I'm gonna use a gel eyeliner and I choose a black eyeliner of course to do the eyeliner in this look. So this part is optional, you can just leave the look like this if you prefer, but I decided to go for the eyeliner and I'm gonna apply a small cat eye in the 
eye look and I decided to do it so thin but then when I was finishing the eyeliner look I decided to go with the gel liner in the crease as well to create a more dramatic look but I really love the first option as well but I decided to create a more dramatic look today and if you like you can just smoke it out the gel liner uh, here in the crease but I decided to do this harsh line because for me it looks stunning and dramatic and glamorous at the same time so carefully I'm gonna draw the shape with the gel liner and this thin brush as you guys can see and when I finish just let it dry I'm gonna apply a little bit of the gel liner in the inner corners to create a kind of more foxy eye look for the lower lash line I'm gonna smoke it out and I'm gonna apply the same shimmery eyeshadow that I applied on top um, I use this eyeshadow in the inner corners to highlight right on top of the white eyeshadow so I'm gonna apply just in the middle of the lower lash line to give me this highlighting spot as well it looks different, it looks cute, especially when I finish the whole look with the fake lashes, mascara and curl the lashes like this and this is how I conclude this makeup look. I really hope that you love it much as I do. Oh my god, this is a dramatic, glamorous look. So I applied a kind of big fake lashes to finish the eye and I absolutely love how it looks. So tell me in the comments what do you think about this makeup look, if you wear this look, and if you like or if you prefer any other colors, and if you like this kind of dramatic technique. And I see you later in the next videos. Mwah! Subscribe to my channel!